Today, I wanted to talk about the new fiscal hosting uh, that the XSF is providing, as well as Open Collective, which is the platform we chose to use. Uh, some of you may know I've been pushing this initiative within the XSF for quite a while. So I've so now that it's finally sort of done and ready, and we're getting our first applications and using it, I wanted to show it off a bit and answer any questions that anyone might have. It, it's hard to get started handling money. If you're just one person and you want to receive donations, you can have donations come straight to you, go into your bank account, and you can you know, use them how you see fit. If you've got two or three people, but you're not big enough, you don't have your own organization, you don't have a company formed, um, it, you know, it can be difficult to decide who's going to manage any money that we get donated. Do we trust everybody enough? How are we going to handle uh, distributing money among different, uh, different people? Uh, and that's where a fiscal host comes in. If you're big enough that you are your own company, you don't need one. If you're so small that you're your, you know, one person, you probably don't need one. But if you have a handful of people and just don't have the resources to start a company or don't want to go out and try to create a bank account and all the paperwork and legal risk that and tax implications that entails, you can use a fiscal host. And a fiscal host is just another existing company agreeing to uh, hold money on your behalf. So in, in our case, uh, the XSF is now, uh, has now agreed to act as a fiscal host for XMPP related projects which means that the XSF can accept donations on behalf of you and you don't have to worry about getting a bank account. The XSF holds your money and then whenever you want it, you just ask the XSF and they uh, send it to whomever you need it sent to. So it's sort of like being able to use somebody else's bank account. Uh, it also, depending on where you are, has tax implications, which is nice. The XSF is a US 501c3 um, that's roughly corresponds to a, um, to a charitable organization in a lot of EU countries, uh, which means they get special tax exempt status. Um, they don't have to pay US taxes and any donations to them are tax exempt. You don't have to pay taxes on your donation, uh, which is a nice um, nice touch. Depending on where you are, that may or may not apply internationally. Uh, some countries do allow donations to other countries' nonprofits to be tax exempt, but that's really tricky. So. More or less, it's it, because the, US, uh, the XSF is United States based, um, it means you, if you're in the US and you donate, your, that donation is tax exempt. But uh, most people probably aren't donating a large enough sum for it to matter either way. Um, so to do all this, we use a service called Open Collective. And I'm going to share my screen here. Um, so yeah, this is Open Collective. This is the XMPP Standards Foundations profile. Um, it, it has a bunch of really nice features, including the base, the ability to uh, donate. You can see I'm logged in and I'm an admin, so I get the some extra things that you wouldn't see if you were viewing this, like being able to create a new uh, recurring contribution tier um, or add uh, memberships and services, or you know, if you donate so much, you get a free T-shirt in the mail or whatever various uh, perks and things we might offer. Um, since a lot of places have more of a recurring uh, donate, you know, a service that's paid for by the month and that sort of thing. Um, but in our case, in the XSF's case, we just accept donations, uh, nothing fancy. Um, you can create events and, and blog posts and simple features like that. I've got most of those turned off. Uh, for example, I probably should have created an event on the XSF one uh, for, for this office hours today. That wasn't something I did, but uh, events can also be paid. Uh, again, this is all things the XSF isn't likely to use, but um, if we were doing uh, the summit, for example, our yearly summit, we might create an event for that. And for non-members, we could sell tickets to the to the dinner so that so that people had already paid for the summit dinner in advance if they weren't a member and, and weren't getting in free. Um, has budget tools so we can keep track of donations. Uh, right now, you can see there are none yet. Uh, we did have one donation, which is very exciting, but that hasn't cleared the bank yet, so it doesn't uh, it hasn't been approved and doesn't show up here, but. Soon, hopefully, we'll have some XSF budget in here, which will be nice. And then you can see the team and description and all the usual things you'd expect. Um, what's nice about this, though, is that, all right, this is the XSF's page. That's great. Uh, but as a, as a, what I'm more interested in is as an individual, oh, uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and say, yeah, anyone, feel free to blurt out questions as we go. This won't be a super formal one. So uh, Daniel in the chat said, in this example, the XSF is both the fiscal host and a recipient. Uh, recipient, excuse me. 
And that's correct. Yeah, the XSF can receive money for itself as well as on behalf of member projects. So in this case, uh, you can see at the top, we've got our host fee, how much they are uh, charging to, to receive donations on your behalf. The XSF is charging nothing for that, which is very generous of them. Uh, their terms for fiscal sponsorship, which just links to the XSF website. Um, so the more, yeah, the more interesting thing is what do you, what happens if I'm a project that is, has joined the XSF? We have none right now. We do have one application open, which is being decided upon, which is very exciting. Uh, but so let's assume I have a couple other collectives I'm a member of here. Um, so I'll go to my own little personal project, Melium. Uh, right now, we are not under the XSF's uh, fiscal hosting. That's something I'm still deciding on how we're going to do. Um, but if I if I were and a user wanted to donate to me, they would just come to this page. They would see all of my donation options, not the XSF's. They could click contribute to donate to me, um, get the get the various interface where you can pick uh, tips for open collective and you know monthly or one-time donation, all that good stuff. Uh, choose who they want to donate as, whether it's going to be anonymous or another organization, um, and submit payment info. Uh, if, if they did this and I were hosted under the XSF as my fiscal host, this money wouldn't actually come straight to me. It would go to the XSF's account. Uh, it would show up in mine as as a budget, as something, as money that I have, but under the hood, it would go to the XSF's bank account and also uh, would be, but be a part of their budget, except like a set aside as a, um, I don't know what it actually is called. I'm sure there's a, a legal or you know, a financial term for this, but it would be set aside and earmarked for me. So the XSF wouldn't have it for use in their budget. I would have it for use in my budget, but it would be in the XSF's bank account. So that this is more or less, even though I'm not using the XSF, uh, this is more or less exactly what you would see. You would donate to the individual project. As a donor, you wouldn't even need to know this is happening under the hood. And your money would actually just be stored by the XSF, who would do their accounting at the end of the year, just as if it was part of their normal budget. Looks like there's some questions in the chat. Um, is there a max limit? Uh, as far as I know, that is limited only by your uh, open collective does not impose any max limit, except as required by the laws in your country. So some countries may say anything above a certain amount is taxed differently or has to be audited or something along those lines. But there's no max limit that I'm aware of, at least for open collective, at least nothing any of us are likely to hit um, <laughs> donating a bit of money to an XMPP project. But uh, I suppose if there is and you do hit it, that'd be you know, a good problem to have. Uh, the money is uh, how it's distributed and allocated uh, is also something that's entirely up to the collectives themselves. So I'll keep using mine as an example because I've sort of been setting this up as a, none of these, my donations or anything are fixed. This is all something that's up to the co-op to decide, but um, you can do things like, so I can have just my general budget, uh, memberships or uh, general donations. I can also create projects, which are funding set, set aside for a specific purpose. Um, there's nothing legally that says, okay, if you've donated to Jingle Voice and Video, I've I have to use it for that, uh, at least in any jurisdiction that I'm aware of, um, with the disclaimer that I'm not a lawyer or an accountant. So none of this should be taken as legal or tax advice. Um, but but you know I can I can set aside money in my own project however I want and say okay if you want to donate to a specific project, here's how you do that, which is another nice feature of Open Collective. Uh, so you can see here I've got a project for implementing Mix. Um, I have a, they can have its own page, its own separate budget and donors, all that good stuff. It's still all part of my project's budget, which in our example would actually be in the XSF's bank account. Uh, but Open Collective gives us lots of nice tools for this, for kind of setting up how we want to distribute and allocate the money. Uh, it also has an expenses system. Um, I have actually never used this. I don't know if I can see it here. There's some example of events, uh, which I, let's see here. Yeah, so I don't have any budget, so I don't have any way to show this. But you can also submit as a user if I'm a, um, I've done some work for the Melium library, and I want to be paid for that work. Uh, I could submit an expense report, uh, and then whoever the owner is, uh, me in this case, or you know whoever the owner of the project is, could approve those expenses. If the XSF is their fiscal host, it would send it up to the treasurer of the XSF, uh, who's Peter Saint Andre right now. 
and he would be able to decide, okay, yes, this expense is approved, and then it gets paid out of the XSF bank account straight to whomever that contributor is based on how they've set up, uh, you know, set up payments on their end. So it might be paid into their open collective account, or if they've set it up so that payments go into their bank account, for example. So yeah, expenses are another way you can, uh, or for example, uh, one we've talked a bit about if uh, at an XSF dinner, for example, if the uh, whoever pays for, if the dinner is paid for at a summit uh, by on someone's personal credit card, they could then submit an expense through Open Collective to the XSF account directly for reimbursement and that sort of thing. Uh, so it has a lot of options for how you can uh, pay out money either directly to other collectives and co-ops and whatnot on Open Collective, or to or to or have money a uh, request for payment made by individuals uh, or other other companies. The other question in the chat is, what about EU tax law? That's really something I like said in the very beginning. I, it depends where you are. My understanding is there is nothing stopping me. Again, not an accountant. This is not tax advice or legal advice. Uh, there's nothing stopping anyone in the EU from donating to a US-based company like the XSF or, uh, or Melium, my example here. But whether that donation is tax exempt for you or not uh, depends on a number of factors and you'd need to talk to an accountant to find out. Uh, but that being said though, again, it's not like, it, you know, unless you're donating thousands and thousands of euros, it's not going to have large tax implications for you. If you have to pay a handful of cents on the euro, it's, uh, you know, not likely to have large implications for your donation. Um, so it's worth, but it is worth discussing depending on your jurisdiction, finding out if that's possible. Uh, because some places do allow you to donate to a U.S. nonprofit like the XSF and still claim that tax exempt status. I do know the U.S. also, if you are a uh, if you have income in both the U.S. and the EU, and you donate from the you know in euros, for example, from the EU, the U.S. has uh, a form that you can fill out that lets you claim tax exempt status on donations from another country, at least only on your U.S. earnings. Um, but again, that's all really complicated and very far above my pay grade. So. <laughs> Uh, but for small donations, it'll basically be just like donating to anywhere else. I'm really hopeful this is not a promise. I don't know if anyone will want to do that, but uh, this, but I'm also really hopeful. We've briefly talked about it may be possible to also incorporate the XSF in various other areas in the future, uh, which would make this much easier. Daniel in the chat says, for what it's worth, if you receive money from the XSF, you will very likely have to pay income tax on that. And that's absolutely correct. If you are not yourself a nonprofit, uh, that would probably count as income. But yeah, again, taxes are very complicated. Hope and all of this is, you know, we're not talking about millions of dollars or euros here. It's a, you know, it's likely, you know, being reimbursed for a dinner or making a small donation to an XMPP library or server or server operator or something along those lines. So none of this is really likely to matter in the real world, uh, but it is worth keeping in mind uh, anytime you make a donation, not just through Open Collective. And I the tax thing, yeah, it's complicated, but each, everyone has to figure out for their own country. Um, what I wanted to ask, if there are no other questions, I don't know if Daniel's first question has been answered. Um, can we maybe just repeat? So if I'm a project maintainer and I'm interested into joining this uh, fiscal host idea, um, how do you reach out to XFF and how is the process? And do I understand right that the XFF in the end decides that whether the money will be provided based on my work? So do I have to give some proof of work or? Gotcha. Yeah, that? great question. Um, let's start with the first one, the application, because uh, that's something I meant to show and have not quite gotten to yet. Uh, but you can do all of that is through Open Collective. So you'll see in the actions menu over here, this may show up different for you if you're not uh, logged in as a as an administrator like I am right now. But under actions, you can go down to apply. Uh, that will give you a nice screen where you can pick who's applying. Um, I have no collective that currently doesn't have a some sort of fiscal host set up, so I could create a new one, or you would just pick out of your list of existing, existing projects. Um, and then you and then you can fill out this form, which asks for uh, a little bit of information. So we want uh, what the XSF specifically wants to know um, is whether you are. We want to verify that you're able that you are actually open source or kind of follow open source guidelines if you're not a software project. Um, so we require that you are that your project, if you're software, be licensed under an OSI approved or Creative Commons license. Um, 
And then we just want some, we, you know, we want you to disclose uh, any other kind of fiscal relationships. If you're a, I don't know, a project sponsored by Google or something, you would want to disclose that so that we can take in other sources of income you might have into consideration. Uh, because the XSF to do this has to make sure you are in line with their nonprofit mission. Otherwise, they risk losing nonprofit status. So we effectively want to make sure that your project isn't a big company, you know, a company out there to make money. Um, the XSF isn't for about that. We're trying to nurture open source projects and uh, XMPP projects that otherwise maybe wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to take advantage of having a, a bank account or anything like that. Um, so this is this is the entirety of the application process. When you fill out the form uh, with links to your project and whatnot, that gets sent to uh, right now, it's just me and the treasurer of the XSF, Peter. And then um, the treasurer or we, one of us will forward that to the board and either Peter or the board is authorized to, to decide whether you're, whether you meet that mission. Um, and that's the extent of the process. And then the XSF hopefully will get back to you within a week or two and approve or deny your application. So it's pretty straightforward again, all through open collective. I'm so sorry, remind me, there was a second part to your question that I think I've has escaped me now. Yeah, how to reach out and the proof of work. Oh yes, so the really that's up to the project maintainers. So if someone makes a donation to me, um, to my project that's hosted by the XSF, I would approve that donation or, or disapprove it, you know, however, using whatever process I have. Like let's say I'm paying contributors a small amount for contributions, or I've paid a contractor, I've said a contractor uh, will, you know, get a little bit of money if they do some work for me or something. Um, they submit the expense report, then I would approve that. It only go the XSF isn't like part of that. They don't really decide. It's it's a little hard to, in theory, they have the final say. For some reason, they can say, well, no, we see this as a, you know, because the money's in their bank account and they have liability for it. They might say, look, we think this is a, I don't know, a, a scam and we're not going to approve it. But in reality, it's it's, they're not going to do any work. We're not going to do any work to verify that, you know, that's between the project and the person they're paying. The XSF's just there to be a gatekeeper in case of, in case of something that would jeopardize their financial status. So we should probably have better uh, rules for that. I don't think we've talked a lot about that in our current fiscal hosting, um, like uh, terms of service. But really, the XSF isn't there to decide and verify. They're just there to to approve or disapprove. Yeah, okay, we. You, you as a project maintainer didn't say, yeah, I'll pay you $5,000, but you only have $300 in your account or something along those lines. Um, that's what the XSF would disapprove for, not because they are have control over your budget. It is still your money. The XSF just has that final approval because because they're holding it and are liable for it. I, I don't know if that makes sense or. Um, you. Um, and as a user, I would um, log in or register to Open Collective, go to the project of interest or where I can place a donation and then decide on the donation and then uh, that's it more or less. Yeah, absolutely. So as you can see, like I'm a, I'm logged in as a personal account, you know, just like anything, you can kind of create an account, set up a credit card or a bank account, however you want to do it to donate. If um, I could go find some other projects. So let's see, I have no idea what's under XMPP. So let's find out what we have here already. Um, so you can see there's a handful of projects here that include that that show up when I search for XMPP. So I might pick process one. Um, I can see they've got uh, some stuff and then I would be able to decide as an individual whether I want to contribute to them. Um, that's neat. I didn't actually know they were on Open Collective, but uh, let's see. I don't, doesn't look like they actually have donations enabled right now. Um, so they may be, have only kind of private donations. I don't see a donate button. Let's try one I know works. We'll just pretend if I'm going to donate to my own project, um, I would go to the one of the donation tiers that are set up, uh, or if I wanted to donate straight to the XSF for that matter, let's do that. Um, I would go to one of the donations. I could hit contribute. Uh, you know, pick the amount I wanted. Um, pick a tip for Open Collective if I wanted to, uh, and then choose who I'm donating from. And so, yeah, I, as an individual, I can donate directly to a collective or to the XSF um, or from, from another, if I'm a, if I control or have, you know, I'm an administrator on another collective. 
Um, so if you are a project, though, on the other hand, and or you're an I've got my individual account, but I want to create a project that's going to be hosted by the XSF. So let's say I've got um, my new server. I can go up to the create an organization. Um, if it's in, if it's incorporated, you're like not, likely not going to use the XSF, but I can enter some information. Uh, we're an XMPP server. Uh, invite admins, all that good stuff, and create a new organization that would show up that can accept its own donations, then I could apply on behalf of that new organization. So Open Collective is a pretty complete platform for managing managing funds, uh, managing funds and various organizations. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got on the Open Collective side. Uh, if there's any other questions on that, um, or on the XSF as a fiscal host. That's that's more or less all I've got. Yeah, thank you very much. I think that was uh, really interesting, and in general, I think that's a great uh, step forward. Um, how it will work? Let's see. And yeah, everyone is invited to take a look at it and apply. And then yeah, absolutely. I, I sorry, I brought up an, one more thing. I realized uh, just so you can see, this is another organization I'm a member of. Um, this is what it looks like. So you can see this organization has a fiscal host. Uh, we use Platform 6 Developer Development Cooperative. Um, so that's just what it shows up like on your profile. So if I go to make a donation to, to this organization, I can see who their fiscal host is, which is a, you know, a nice touch so that I can make sure that how they're look into how they're managing money and make sure it's all kind of open and transparent. And, um, anyway, so that's the last thing I just wanted to, I forgot to show up example where a fiscal host is already picked. If you do have an XMPP project, I hope you'll consider uh, consider using Open Collective for donations. It's a great platform and possibly using the XSF as your fiscal host. Oh, uh, Daniel in the chat asks, does it support automatic splitting between team members? Um, I don't believe it's automatic, but you can add and build, uh, you can add team members and pay out to them on occasion. Um, I think none of the the money just goes into the XSF bank account. I don't believe there's any way to say, like, automatically pay out any incoming donations. Um, so once a month or however often, you'd have to go in and and decide and split it up between members. Um, um, if I were a team member, though, I could do, I didn't show this, the submit expenses. Uh, and I could either ask for a reimbursement or send an invoice for for time that I've already you know, put into something. Um, so it's a pretty complete platform. And I can pick a, pick a country and currency and whatnot and payment methods if I have PayPal and credit cards and banks and whatnot attached. And, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, there may I may be wrong, too. I, I don't know if there's a way to automatically pay out, but I don't believe so. Yeah, thanks again, everybody. I'll keep hanging out in case there's questions for the next, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, but I guess that's all I've got. Thanks for coming.